Hey everybody, Mac the Monster here. Back with another character, Jean Grey the Phoenix. Um, great news, Jean Greys. If you were sad before, you're happy today because you are buffed. And you are buffed big time. And your skills have changed somewhat. And they're actually more effective. And the Phoenix lovers, um, you're going to love the Phoenix form. That is currently considered broken at the moment. And it still went to live anyways, so it must be playing as intended. So, let me go over the changes. There's been a buff to Phoenix Rebirth here. Um, the cooldown has been longer, but it's a 100% chance and there's an invulnerability duration. There's less health and spirit on happening. Um, so it's more like Deadpool's God Mode. Basically, once every five minutes you, you can die, you'll get resed with 25 health, 25% health, 25% spirit, and you'll do a pretty big AoE around you that will kill, hopefully, everything and make you invulnerable for two seconds, giving you a short period of time to move. Get away from where you are. In other words, if you die, you don't die. It's awesome. And it happens every five minutes. And if you put points in there, it happens a little bit sooner. Uh, huge buff to Phoenix Inferno. And this is where people are considering her broken. This does a big dot, basically, around her. And 3% of that damage dealt is returned to you as health. Uh, it does cost 3 Phoenix Force per second. So it should be kind of gated that way. However, in midtowns and such like that, where there's just massive mobs, massive groups of mobs, as you run into it, the more mobs there are, the more damage you deal, the more damage you deal, the more health you get back, the more you live. Especially with the current defense system, you now can shrug off a lot of damage. And you should be able to take in more health than uh, damage. And that's what they're doing. And that's how you're broken. Uh, but my build is the opposite of the Phoenix. So I know I won't get nerfed. So Rejuvenating Aura. This has been buffed. This now has health per second, uh, mana per second, spirit per second, and movement speed. Nice little buff. Uh, exhilarating Aura has been buffed. It's a lot of critical hit chance and some critical hit damage. 200 does do wonders, so that's not a bad a number there. There's been a buff to Mind Crush over here. I don't really use it, but I just noticed that um, it's, uh, uh, it's got a stun that's automatic now, and it does a lot more damage than it used to. And we got a buff to telepathic detection, uh, plus crit rating now. So uh, a little bit of crit goes a long way. This is a wonderful buff. Psychic lethargy should be buffed, I think. They nerfed the amount of snare slash slow effect, um, which is okay because they upped the damage, I think. And I do believe that that snare slash slow is now, um, it, it can't be avoided. It, it, it hits everything. That's what it felt like when I did terminals with her. Uh, mental focus has been buffed. Uh, it's more damage and plus CD, um, critical hit damage, and it's not on a cooldown. But no uh, critical hit chance. So it's plus damage, plus critical hit damage, no longer CC. We're getting CC, critical, critical hit chance, off of telepathic detection. So that's just kind of moved around a little bit, but it's still pretty nice. I guess it's good. Well, it seems to work really good. And uh, psychokinetic implosion... That damage has been increased dramatically. So that's what I noticed. Some pretty good overall changes. As you can see, I'm sitting at 2100 armor at level 32. And that's 33.4% damage reduction. On par with everybody else, 
Uh, so that's awesome. You probably went from 10 to 12 percent to 35 percent overnight. Uh, for her build, I'm calling it the Marvel Girl build because it's not going to be Phoenix based. Although we're going to have one little bitty point over in Phoenix Rebirth because you don't have to be in Phoenix form to get reborn. That's awesome. But telepathic detection, obviously a must. Uh, plus critical hit rating is awesome. Uh, rejuvenating aura is our must. Uh, because we're getting movement speed, we have no movement ability besides flight, so we need to run around pretty fast. And it's giving us 48 health a second. It's down from uh, before. I think it was a little bit higher. And, but it's giving us also four spirit per second. That's a lot of spirit, a lot of health coming in. Health regeneration now is very, very important. Take it. Um, so let's see. Top hat, mental focus. We're going to buff that one up. We want our bonus damage. Seeing how we're not going into Phoenix form. And of course, we got to take the old favorite Psychic Lethargy. It has been buffed. A uh, thousand damage a second. I'm pretty sure that's more damage than what it was doing before. Uh, but a lot less snare slow effects. Psychokinetic Implosion. This was my favorite before, and it's still my favorite now. Look how hard that hits. Uh, either one will clear, clear trash packs fairly well. And we have a backup of Psychic Hammer. Just in case somehow we run out of spirit, we can still do some damage if we want. We're putting a point in flight. We'll take the uh, haste and the chance to knock down. That's a big chance for one point. We got our point in Phoenix Rebirth. And we're going to do a point in Neural uh, Panic here. This is our... Oh, uh, we're in Midtown. We're surrounded by stuff. There's too many around us. Get away button. Remember that button. It's it's a very, very strong button. Uh, Omega level, definitely buffed. Uh, big damage, lots of damage over time. Um, I mean, massive damage over time. Plus one all your ability, all your powers for 30 seconds. You know, it's been buffed. It's getting there. It's not quite there, but it's getting there. So we're always going to have this rejuvenating aura up. We want that health. We want that spirit. We want that movement speed. That's just too much of a synergy. It outweighs exhilarating aura, even though that's a lot of critical hit chance. And let's see here. We'll put psychic like lethargy over here. Telekinetic implosion over there. And neural panic next to it, so if something happens, we go, uh oh. And that's really it. We all suck a camera up over here. That's it, that's all we have to do. So, obviously, this build is not going to be the super awesome boss killer, but it's going to do pretty good. This is the psychokinetic or the fear. As you can see, I do it, and everything around me is gone. Remember that button. This is the telekinetic implosion here, psychokinetic implosion. Look at how huge of an area that's hitting. Look at all that damage. Look at that. That is a fun thing. This is psychic lethargy now. Much wider area. And uh, really, really good damage. That will definitely kill trash packs. It will definitely help chew down a boss. And, of course, the hammer... And it's hammer time. It does pretty good for itself there. It fires pretty quick. So definitely all around uh, bonus. And this is what happens when you hit Omega level. Look at that. That's massive damage. Nice little phoenix in the ground burning everything. And so that's a lot of fun. We'll wait for the 30 seconds to expire, and we'll go over the stats, because some of these stats have increased because of the Omega level. Omega level also, what's not listed here, is it's doubling your defense. It doubles your damage, and it's just awesome. It doubles your health. <laughs> That's just massive. 
it's great, you know, it's going to chew down a lot of things. Okay, so we're back to normal now. Let's go over our stats here. We're still at the 33.4% defense. Um, however, what we're going to notice is a lot of crit. We have a, almost a 25% crit chance from just 326 uh, crit strike. No brutal. We need to find a way to get some brutal. Um, a pretty good amount of damage rating getting buffed. Even though we're taking anywhere from 0 0.1, 0 0.2 on the AoEs and everything to 0 0.8, 0 0.9 on the direct damage scales, it's still a lot of extra damage going on. And we have sufficient uh, health regeneration going on. You know, that uh, 48 health is actually 4,200 health per minute. That's a lot. We need that. So Garen, Dr. Octopus's medal is by far the mandatory one to go. Got to have it. I also believe in the Talisman of Kumlung. This is going to help you out at close ranges. You know, 14% damage bonus to anything that's close to you. That's pretty sick. Some health and defense doesn't hurt at her level because 120 defense is a lot. Um, crit rating is good. Damage not a target. Extra damage to damage to targets not attacking you is good with her. Hopefully nothing will be attacking you. Critical hit rating is probably the best thing to get on the costume. Gearing, you're going to want plus hit points. I can't stress enough. Plus hit points is now the preferred thing. Some spirit per kill on your gloves. I don't have it yet. Not necessary, but would, would come in handy. Plus spirit would be all right. But health, health pool biggest and health regen, very important. Backed up with defense and spirit. And then, of course, you want plus skills to anything that you're using. So plus psychic lethargy, plus telekinetic implosion, plus rejuvenating aura. Uh, those would be probably the primary biggies. And uh, a grant 8 with Phoenix Rebirth in flight would be awesome. And there you go. That's Jean Grey the Phoenix. That's the Marvel Girl build. Um... Obviously, the Phoenix build, you're going to want to take this Phoenix Inferno. That's just insane. And uh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope, hope to help, and I'll talk to you soon.